no snow all winter now that it's March it decides to let loose Just gonna clean the truck off here. I have some parts in it to take to the shop. It doesn't see as much use in the winter, so I like to run it and stir up the oil any chance I get. All right, I'm down here at the shop. I've got some parts for the James Way scraper to drop off. And then the plan is to take our telehandler, clean it off, and I'm going to try to find out if it's the tilt cylinder that's leaking or if it's the valve that controls it that's leaking internally uh, so we can get rid of that annoying drift. Just running the glow plugs here. I cycle them a couple times because it hasn't been ran in a while. It's got a Deutz engine in it. Now that I've got the telehandler in the shop, I'll kind of give you guys a walk around the telehandler and kind of tell you what I'm thinking we're going to do to try and figure out if it's the cylinder or if it's the valve. So we originally bought this telehandler with the idea that we'd be mixing feed with it because it would be easier to lift up into the tub. Um, we haven't really done that much. We went from skid loaders to this and when you use a skid loader every day it's quite a jump and now that we have the high dump bucket uh, we just stuck with the skid loaders because our feed bunks are so narrow that to turn this telehandler around in them you were doing three four point turns or as a skid loader you grab your bucket of silage and you can turn uh turn on a dime so I'm not saying this wouldn't work just haven't had a chance to really give it another shot um, so that's where it's at we've got a few building projects planned so we'll be using it in that which is also why i want to get this drift fixed because Right now, if you lift somebody up in a basket, you have to sit there on the control and constantly tilt the basket back up because it'll just, it'll just keep falling. This here is the cylinder in question. So my plan is to come back here and find out which set of hydraulic hoses runs that tilt cylinder. And once I know that, I'm just gonna simply swap with another set of hoses and if the problem persists even on a new section of the valve then i will know that it is the cylinder if the problem goes away then i'll know it's the valve
First things first, I want to lower the bucket and get all the weight off the boom. So when I'm taking the hoses off, nothing's going to fall. Just kind of looking here to get a lay of the land, see what's going where, how everything's attached. So those, that front set of uh, hydraulic lines is what runs that tilt boom. So I'm just going to swap that set with the set behind it. Brian just showed up, so we're going to start cracking lines and swapping hoses. We found out for sure it's not the valve it is in fact the tilt cylinder so that's what we're going to be taking off today to send it out and get it fixed so we're just popping the cover off this cylinder here one neat thing on this telehandler each one of these cylinders has a piloted blocking valve so if any of the flexible hydraulic hoses on this telehandler fail that blocking valve will hold it in position so your load doesn't come slamming down to the ground if a hydraulic hose pops it'll just stay in the position where the hose popped which I think is a pretty cool feature so now I'm just discussing with Dave the best way to chain this up so that when we take the cylinder out nothing's going to flop down or around so while Dave's removing the bolts from the pins that are holding the cylinder in I'm gonna go ahead and secure the front of the genie with this chain so that once the cylinders out of the way nothing's gonna move Just going to crack these lines and remove them so that everything is free for when we drop the cylinder.
right, so we've got the cylinder pulled out. We're going to load it up into the back of the gator, and then Dad's going to take it over to the hydraulic shop, and they're going to pull it apart and see what's going on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll keep you posted on what we find out. Thanks, and I'll catch you on the next one.